The World Health Organization tells us that the United States is ranked second in overall health care, second from the bottom. Digestive issues are on the rise, so there are over 70 million Americans uh, diagnosed with digestive issues and a lot of people who have issues that are related to digestive health that aren't being considered as digestive issues. Immune issues like autoimmunity, allergies, asthma, those are really rooted in the gut. It's anything from like schizophrenia to IBS to cardiovascular disease. You could do a liver cleanse, you know, every two weeks, but if you don't get rid of that source of toxicity, too much LPS gets to the brain, gets to the muscles, gets to the heart, gets to the joints, and can cause lots of symptoms all throughout the body. When we think about issues like Crohn's or ulcerative colitis, they're often being treated as inflammatory conditions of the organ and the underlying issues aren't being considered. If you're taking an acid blocking drug and you actually have an active infection in your stomach, you're allowing that infection year after year to get worse and worse, even though you're you know, getting some kind of symptomatic control eventually you could end up with a much more serious problem later. So functional medicine is a real systems-based approach where we're not looking just at symptoms, signs and symptoms, but actually functional medicine is looking at the entire system and the interrelations and really creating a partnership between the physician and the patient. So if we're sticking people on medication because of our faulty assumption that it's effective, what happens when they are on it for the rest of their lives? How to ensure good digestive fire. How to support yourself if you have some type of pathogenic infection like SIBO, which is small intestine bacterial overgrowth, or dysbiosis, or a parasite, or a candida. People are becoming more aware of gluten and the impact of gluten, but there's also a lot of people out there who say there's no research out mm. there saying that gluten has any, there's any problem with gluten. Is there really research out there? Yeah, it's definitely established now in the literature, but certainly in the mainstream media, and there are a lot of industries that would like for folks not to know that this is the case, so that's why there's, I think, a lot of resistance to knowing about that. We used to say death begins in the colon. Um, that was the old naturopathic term. And uh, now we know dysfunction begins in the small intestine. Every forkful of what you put in your mouth is either inflammatory or anti-inflammatory. What genes do we turn on? What genes do we turn off? Make wise choices. If you get to the root cause of your health issues, you live a much better life. You enjoy the, your relationships better, you produce more, you're more creative. That's why we do what we do. So food can be the slowest form of poison or the most powerful form of medicine, but knowledge is power.